This is Dr. Van Rieken at Reno Sparks Med Spa in Reno, Nevada, and this is one of our new machines. Uh, it's a carbon dioxide laser, or we call it CO2 laser, invented in Bell Labs 1963. Uh, medical use became popular around Y2K uh, when we discovered fractionated laser invented by Fraxel, and you can do vaginal rejuvenation with this, skin rejuvenation, or both in the same day. Uh, today we're going to do some skin rejuvenation. I've had this procedure done with this machine on me on the face and on the neck within the last six months. And uh, it's, a, it's a very fine machine. The reason it's superior to one of our older machines, which is also a CO2 laser, which we still use for certain indications, is that the holes that it creates in the skin are very fine. Now to understand CO2 fractionated laser technology or any fractionated laser technology, you have to think of your lawn getting aerated. You see these plugs of sod coming out of your lawn. So basically, this takes plugs of sod out of the skin, so to speak. It does it with heat. And the laser goes down, drills a little laser hole, and then moves a ways away, drills another little laser hole, moves a little ways away, but it happens just about faster than the eye can see. So little tiny holes, and if you're dealing with uh, something the size of my fingernail, it might do it in a second with 60 or 70 little tiny holes in the skin. Now you'd think that those little holes are what makes the difference, but they aren't. You vaporize the skin uh, with a laser. However, the stuff in between is not normal, unlike your grass. The stuff in between the plugs and your grass is normal. But in between laser holes, when you've heated this laser up uh, and the skin up, you still get heat there, not enough to kill the cells, but it gets them irritated. We like to get deep dermal skin cells irritated because then they go into repair mode. What do they do when they repair? They build collagen, elastin, they make you tighter, they get rid of wrinkles. Also, we're gonna do what we call eyes. Now, we're not really hitting her eye itself, but the area around the eyes or the orbits will be treated. This is an area where we sew her age. I show mine, I'm getting somewhat loose here and I need, to, I need a treatment here, I guess, pretty soon. And you can reduce this hooding by treating in here. You can reduce the crow's feet by treating here. And then these, what we call in medicine, dermatocolasis, these wrinkles under the eyes or sunken eyes, you can help that. A lot of people get some dark color under here and that's helped a little bit by this laser too. Uh, so it's an interesting technology and it's a super advanced, but it's a racist laser. What do I mean by that? It doesn't like dark skin. It's too aggressive for really dark skin. So you can do some darker skin, a little bit like maybe light Latinos and stuff like that, but you can't do this on Michael Jordan. You can't do it on dark Asians. You can't do it on dark Africans. It's just too intense. You'll burn them or get hyperpigmentation. So it's kind of a Caucasian laser for the most part. So Wendy just had a full CO2, carbon dioxide laser, double pass of the face. I numbed her up. She's still swollen from the anesthesia in the procedure. I also gave her Juvederm this morning before the procedure. We also did around her eyes and orbits and her decollete to about here and her anterior neck. How would you compare this to your prior CO2 with the older machine? I would say it's probably five times better. And how would you compare how you look now compared to the sort of bloody mess you were before the old one? Um, there's no comparison. So you like this one better? Absolutely. Yeah, I agree with you. You think it hurts less? Um, by at least 75%. Okay, all right. At a minimum. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be good looking in a week. You're good looking now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Dr. Van Rieken. Uh, and uh, if you're interested in carbon dioxide laser, we have several of them here. Uh, we do them for different things. But uh, please be sure if you're going to have a procedure like this, you see a competent medical professional in whatever your area you're in. Results are different. This is mostly a Caucasian laser, although you might get away with doing it in a very light uh, mulatto or light Latino patient. And uh, so go ahead and seek competent medical advice. Uh, and there's certain people that shouldn't have it. They're on anticoagulants or whatever, but uh, talk to your doctor. All right, have a good day and be good looking. <laughs>